Byron, say hello. He's feeling a lot better, guys. Um, I just want you guys to see Byron writing his name. Write your name. B. Y. R. R. Yes. He's looking at a book he wrote. Oh, it's... Wow. He gave me that for Christmas. O. N. All right. Yeah, oh, that's a beautiful book. Byron is special. So Byron is feeling a lot better. And then this is his room. And um, I just want to show you guys a couple of things. He's he's so resilient. He's just doing great. Um, the I wanted to show you the doll that's next to him and what it what it um, symbolizes in our home <laughs> and in our life. Um, that doll right there, his name is Ralphie, and it's written on his feet. <laughs> and Ralphie has been with us as long as Byron's been with us. And every surgery that Byron goes through and has to endure, Ralphie is right there with him. You can see Byron has started writing on Ralphie's face. Okay, let me see. <gasps> Beautiful Pittman! <gasps> oh, that's good! Byron Pittman. Okay, and um, this doll here, this, this, this rabbit, has been in my family for over 40 some odd years. It was my cousin Douglas's and my aunt gave it to me when we were in California a couple of years back. Um, so it's very dear to me. It was his when he was a baby. And um, my cousin's actually on a second book right now. He's written uh, one book and it's been published. And this was his doll as a baby. Well, now it's Byron's. And so, anyways, these are just some dolls given to us by people. Or, um, I have boxes and boxes of dolls and teddy bears and, um, stuffed animals, stuff like that, that, um, we get at the hospital from organizations like It's My Heart or actually from Saving Little Hearts. People from all over the world write to us. I mean, one Christmas, we spent our first three Christmases in the hospital, and um, one Christmas, I was just so overwhelmed with presents and cards. I think I got over a thousand cards, no joke. I mean, from Switzerland, from England, from everywhere you can think of. Just people, um, you know, their prayers and everything, and um, I really put a lot of the reason that Byron is still here on everyone that prayed for him. Um, I just kind of want to, oh, big old mess over there, but anyway, this is like some of Byron's meds, or actually supplies, and everywhere in the room he has supplies. He's calling me. What is it? Oh, yeah. I'll read it to you in a minute, okay? And, um, so anyway, let me keep going, like, like, kind of go. So, you know, he's... This is his skull. Um, and then, um, Byron is a tie guy. <laughs> this little kid loves to dress. It is hilarious. Um, I've been using that word a lot, hilarious, because my girlfriend came over and she always says, hilarious. But anyway. So, um, one day what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give Byron his meds. And this here, I save every piece of artwork that Byron does. <laughs> And you can see he's just a little congested, but he's doing really, really well overall. And he loves to draw. He loves to color. And um, in the back there, oh, this is really special. A friend of mine, he's a sergeant, and he was in Afghanistan. And I'm not going to say his name, um, but he sent that to Byron. And he sent him an Afghan flag signed by his entire platoon, or the troops, all his troops. And um, 
he sent Byron an American flag that was flown on March 9th of last year in honor of my family. Um, it was for my son, my two sons, and myself. And I have it hanging with much pride and every time I tell people about it, it makes people cry because the military actually sent it to us and um, it was just an honor that um, there was an American flag hanging for us one day in Afghanistan. Um, and it was risen by our our soldiers. Um, Byron is a special Disney, um, I guess, uh, visitor. Um, that's his first time. Um, first time at Disney was two years ago. And, oh my gosh, we got tired of days and days and days of Disney. But that was our recent uh, little thing to Disney. And in March, we're going to Florida to, to Disney world. Um, I'm actually from California, so um, Disneyland isn't that great for me anymore. Um, the cool thing about it is Disney treats special needs kids so good, and they don't have to wait in line, especially if they're cardiac kids. You just kind of breeze through, and I know that sounds so unfair to all the other kids, but um, I mean, you know, it is what it is, so... He's so cute because, you know, he plays so well by himself. He's just, I can't even express enough how remarkable my kid is. Um, I know I just kind of rave and rant <laughs> these videos, and one day I'm serious they'll have a meaning to them, but um, actually, well, they do have meaning because they're about my son, and he is so special to me. And his room is all sports, sports theme, and, you know, his bedspread and all that kind of stuff because, um... He loves sports, and it's just sad because um, cardiac said uh, cardiac said he can't play any kind of contact sport ever because um, the chest cavity has been open so much. Um, so you know how that goes. Um, but he can't play golf <laughs> and maybe baseball, depending on how his heart's doing. So anyway, but um, that's okay because baseball actually is a sport that runs in my family. I My grandfather was semi-pro and I have a cousin who plays for USC as we speak. So um, maybe he'll be like the most awesome baseball player you know. <laughs> and you'll be like, hey, that's that little kid. So anyway, um, his fever broke. He is doing great. Let's see, what is it? I am special! You are special. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful, Byron. Okay, I can't really read all that, but oh, I bet you it says something really, really nice. Oh, you're beautiful. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, I love you back. Okay, that's enough. Say bye, mommy. I mean, bye-bye, everyone. Thank you for watching.